I'm Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. We're out here in Yellowstone Park. I'm going to show you how I paint a buffalo. Out here they've got about 4,000 of them. We were very fortunate, fortunate the other day to be in the middle of a herd of them. And to give you an example, when we paint buffalo, I'm going to show you how we use a variety of color. They're not just one color. There's some light tans, some dark tans, and so forth. That comes as a result of these heavy winter coats they're shedding. Come on, join me. I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to pick up some burnt sienna to start with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting a little color into the buffalo area. And I want to remember that part of the buffalo is lighter and darker. The foreground of or the, for, the forward area of the buffalo is actually darker than the other part. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to put in a little bit of this color. And we're going to do this in a couple of layers. We're going to put in a, a light wash to start with. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some darks to it. So I'm just going to take my color, put it everywhere. I've got a combination of some sienna. I'll just throw in a little bit of a, a yellow ochre in this case. And we'll paint on. Now the, the horns of the buffalo typically are a little darker in many cases. They're not white. They're actually dark. So we're going to show you how to put that in as well. Look at what I've done here. All that color is really just laying in there in an abstract shape. We're going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and add the darks to it. Watch what happens. Before I do that, let's go ahead and anchor the buffalo first. We'll put some grass under him and so forth. Let's go ahead and put that in at the same time. I'm going to come over and pick up a little bit of my yellow and green. And I'll just put in a little bit of that color. Now remember, this is not a lot of detail going into this. This is just creating the essence of what the buffalo looks like. Let me switch colors. I'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow in this case for the grass. And the grass has a lot of variety of color as well. It's not just green. It's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green. We may even throw just a little bit of uh, a yellow ochre in there just for a little variety of color. There are many colors in the grass as there is in this particular buffalo. So look what I've got now. I've got some interesting grass. Now what I need to do is let this dry for just a moment. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the detail in the buffalo and you'll see how easy this is. Now the painting is dry and it's important that it be dry before I continue. I mentioned to you that part of the buffalo is going to be darker, part of the, uh, the buffalo is going to be a little lighter. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to take and add just a little bit more dark to the front area of this buffalo. Remember, when these buffalo shed, this particular area of the buffalo is a little darker. Now I'm also going to have the horn of the buffalo a little darker, but for the meantime I'm going to paint around the edge of it. So let's come on in here and I'm just going to add a little bit of color, darker color, to the, to the forward part of this buffalo. Not a lot of detail, just the essence of it. I'm being very careful now because I have to go around the horn of that buffalo. But this is, what the, this is the procedure I use and it's fun to paint a buffalo. I don't know what it is about a buffalo. It's a very noble animal for some reason to me. So I'm going to put in a little bit of color and see how simple this is. It doesn't take a lot of effort. To, to paint a buffalo. See how simple? A little simple sketch. Now we're not done yet. We're going to put in a little bit more information. This particular hind leg is going to be a little darker back here. The foreground leg, or this one that's closer, is going to be a little lighter. And of course the buffalo always has this very short tail, so we're going to put that in as well. And then maybe just a couple of little suggestions in here of a little bit of a shadow area in the buffalo where the the back side of the buffalo is here. Doesn't take much, but see how simple it is? And I'll add just a little bit more dark in here in a couple of areas. Look at that, just a couple of areas where it's just a little darker. And these things are very shaggy, and it gives you more of a realistic look this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let this dry for a moment in this area here. I want to paint the horn for you, but let me come into the grass area, and we'll add a little bit more information in this grass. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just make sure I've got the horn correct. Now what I'll do is I'll come in, we'll take some of our darker green. In this case, it's a viridian green. You could use a hooker green or a sap green as well. Any of those colors would work. So just to add in just a touch of green here in a couple of places, just a little darker. Let me add just a little blue to this. Get it just a little bit darker, a little bit of my cobalt blue in this case. And we'll put a little suggestion that there's more uh, contrast of lights and darks in the grass. Doesn't have to be fancy. The painting is really not about the grass, it's about the buffalo. But it's, an or it's uh, important that the buffalo obviously be uh, anchored in the particular area of grass so you can see the whole picture. That's how simple it can be. Now normally what I'm going to do is put a little darker 
color on the horn. A lot of people think that the horn of the buffalo is lighter. It's actually darker. So I can come in here and I think I might be able to get away with it. I'll take a little bit of Payne's gray in this case. And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to put a little dark on this horn here. And I gotta be very careful. But just a little bit of dark where the horn is. And that's all you need. Let me just put a little more detail for you. A little too much detail. Let's come in and put a little detail in here. And that's all you need. Very simple. I hope you've enjoyed this particular lesson on how to paint buffalo. You can be more elaborate if you want to, or maybe a little more detail, but it's not necessary. This will give you the foundation of how to paint one of the greatest animals that you'll ever see out here at Yellowstone. Thank you for joining me.